Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Newmarket Racecourse here on Saturday, it's the 11th of July, 2020. You're going to look at the featured 7th race to 335 from Newmarket. But before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Get 5 for more selections for racecourses around the world. And also join me tomorrow for my Pre Gen Pratt preview from Deauville. And also join me Thursday for Saratoga opening day. I'll have uh, previews for possibly all those races if I have some time. And I think I will Wednesday, so join me for that. Uh, join me Wednesday for the video, which will be live then for Thursday's card. Don't get confused, because I just did. These, uh, let's look at the seventh race, the 335. Great race here. It's the Group 1 July Cup. It's Group 1 event for Class 1 horses, going for a purse of $332,500. Race is for three year olds and upwards. 13 horses a baker's dozen are going 1200 meters or six furlongs on the july course a very wide open races uh, race here i don't trust these shorter priced horses as a top selection i'm going to take the 13 horse threat and i'm going to give you a try cast like i know more than you do but any of these three horses can win. We'll talk about all three of them. So definitely use them in your place pots. My tri-cast, my top three basically would be 13, 1, 12. 13, 1, 12, tri-cast, trifecta. But we're going to talk about all three of them. Starting off with the 13 horse, th uh, the 13 horse threat. Three year old by footsteps in the sand. Ocean Murphy's on this one for Richard Hannon. Most recently, they ran the horse the 20th of June at Royal Ascot's one mile in the Group 1 St. James Palace. And he finished fifth by six and three quarter lengths. And he was very wide that day. He kind of stalked, but then he... And then he slowly moved his way up, but then he hit the wall in the final two. Cutting back to six today. If he stalks today, second off the break where he's going to be more fresher, I think he can win. Two back he ran on the uh, Royal Mile here at uh, Newmarket. September the 28th, six furlongs in the Group 1 Middle Park, and he finished fifth by three and a half lengths. Uh, Earthlight was just way the best horse that day. Went on to win the uh, um, the race after that, which you can't remember at the, at the current moment. But he won uh, next start at Newmarket very nicely. Uh, this horse just wasn't really getting into it there. Before then, the Champagne, though, at Doncaster with the seven furlongs, he won by a neck there. And that day, he, he, he sat close that day. He quickened up. Again, very impressive victory over the seven. And then before then, the game crack at York over the six furlongs. He won by one quarter lengths. You know, last time Ocean Murphy was on the horse for a victory, you know, he did everything right. Quickening up nicely. Very impressive run. You know, he's, he's a winner of three stars. All of them have come at the sprinting trip. Longer trip. You know, he just doesn't do well. Cutting back here, six furlongs at eight to one. I think he's very loaded. The one horse, Brando, the old man here, I think also has a, a chance. Kevin Ryan trades his eight-year-old Gillen by a pivotal. He loves Newmarket. Um, and most recently at Newcastle, six furlongs in the uh, chip chase. Finishes in second by one and a half lengths. He, he showed that the old man could still really get a good race. Before then, the Abernet at Newmarket over the six furlongs in June. He needed the race there, finishing fifth by seven and a half lengths. He just never really got into it. But he ran a very good fourth, I thought, in the British Champion Sprint Stakes. And he ran a very good fourth in the Sprint Cup at Haydock last year. Um, you know, he won over this course last season. Uh, and uh, But, uh, you know, he, he's due for a good run second off the break. He's been getting better with every single race. You know, it's not the world's toughest July Cup. At 20 to 1, he's a horse definitely could get a piece fit. Definitely use him in your place pots and uh, and your uh, tri cast also because he's, he's going to place, I think. So we'll use him there. And also the 12 horse, Southern Hills at 30 to 1 here for Coolmore, Ain O'Brien, and Ryan Moore. And you don't see them at 30 to 1 most very often. But I really want uh, you know, took a longer look at this horse. And, you know, most recently in the Commonwealth Cup, his first start in a year basically to the day, he finished 7 by 7 quarter lengths there. And he, he showed promise early on. He hit the wall late. But if he shows, if he's, he's probably going to be 100, 100, you know, a lot more fresh today. And um, when he's going to be fresh today, um, you know, he'll, he'll have that extra momentum for the final two, which he didn't have last time out. I'm going to expect him to really uh, improve off that run. Before that, Royal Alaska in 2019 in the Windsor Castle, he, he won by a half length there. And he did everything right. He sat back, he quickened up, and he got the job done. Small margin victory, but it was still a good run. And then before that, a main race in Navin over the five furlongs, finishing second by neck again he just missed late nothing bad about that run at 30 to 1 he shouldn't be 30 to 1 he'll probably be half that at post time but you know he, he showed some promise early on last time out in the commonwealth we'll use him also Sidori Camley selection for the 7th of 335 from Newmarket it is the group 1 July Cup the very wide open July Cup as a top selection we'll take the 13 horse threat we'll also give kudos to the 1 horse Brando and the 12 horse Southern Hills and we'll go 3-1-12 in the tri-cast trifecta so good luck to all please follow me on twitter at horse racing get 5 good luck